finals, Daywalker, Saturday night. The winner gets a Firefall beta key if they want it. If not, it falls to the runner-up. If not that, then I'll have to draw from a hat or something. What's Firewall, by the way? Oh, Firefall? It's just a... Oh, uh, Firefall, I'm sorry. It, it's a combination of a f FPS and an MMO. It doesn't know what it wants to be, but... <laughs> <laughs> Is it some uh, online game or something? Yeah, it's an online shooter type game. I'll check that out after this uh, game. Okay, uh, let's have Royal take top and AKA take the bottom, please. Uh, absolutely. Uh, spawning on the top right is Soy Pop Tart. He is a master Terran player. He will be the pink. He will be representing all Terrans around the world in this matchup. <laughs> <laughs> and uh. And okay, in the bottom left hand corner we have uh, Taiji, uh, I guess representing all the Zergs, so, yeah. Hey, all you, the no skill Zergs. You, you, you forgot your, your low voice uh, clownfish whatever thing. Oh, you use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can do that uh, in announcing who won. Alright, so, awesome. What is? <laughs> All right, no, no early pull for Tai G. At least not yet. He's up to 13 supply, and uh, Soy Pop Tart not doing anything too suspicious either. He's putting up supply depot at the top of the ramp, and a, there goes a barracks. So no uh, proxy barracks or anything like that from Soy Pop Tart at least yet. Uh, this drone is going a little far. Where is he going? Okay, well he's going to scout the long way around. Uh, we're having paranormal activity somewhere. Paranormal activity? Yeah. Do you hear that? I hear someone talking. I think it's a ghost. I think you might have ghost people in your house or something. Absolutely. No, this is a casting room. It's professional. <laughs> <laughs> I have a casting studio. Yeah. I go there uh, Friday and Saturday nights when I'm casting. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Shh. I, I think we'll hear it again. I think there's a ghost. That would be my sister. Screaming yes. In French. Yes, yes, for sure. That's definitely paranormal activity going on. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the drone does get in the base, so uh, he knows that the orbital command is being morphed. Whoopie ding. Uh, is he going to try to block this command center? Watch this. Let's see if he blocks this command center. Ah, uh, he's not going to. Oh! Oh, he doesn't. Uh. In fact, he hid the SCV from the drone, and uh, the drone just ran away. Alright, so pool went down in the uh, main base of the uh, Zerg player. <coughs> <sighs> yeah, whenever I hear whenever I hear strange voices when I talk to people, I just say that it's some kind of paranormal activity, because you know. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just deny the fact that you still live with your parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa! What's going on here? Oh, okay, I see. So he popped out. Is going to attack the supply depot at the bottom of the ramp, and he's making a bunker in front of his natural. I think he wants to drop his own bunker, you know, to prevent, uh... Like, if he drops his own bunker, he can, uh, lift it up and prevent, uh, Zerg, uh, run -bys. Yes, indeed. Just wall off that part. Smart move. <laughs> then he's gonna attack the supply depot from inside the bunker. Awesome. much going on guys we have two gas being uh, made at the uh, main base for the zerg player and uh, a uh, SCV was just killed at the natural of the zerg. Yeah they didn't get to scout anything. <laughs> Did not get to scout anything but he does have vision of the natural. He knows the natural is down nothing else though like absolutely nothing else that he saw. Roachworn yeah. is going down at the natural. So we have a reactor with a factory. Hmm. Guess that means Hellions. Yep. Hellions two by two. We and we might port. see a tech lab going down for his barracks now to transition with the starport. Yes, indeed. Uh, he will transition. Looks like he will go into uh, making a banshee yet, yet again. This is the exact same strategy he had last game. 
Actually, he didn't drop the bar the tech support, the tech lab from the barracks. Yeah, uh, interesting. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he drops it now. Which uh, I guess he's just gonna get a uh, stim and uh, Marauders. Mm -hmm. What race do you play again, Royal? Uh, Protoss. I was in oh. the racket. I made it to the quarterfinals, I think. That's right. We watched one of your games. I totally forgot what race you play. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> But yes, uh, you're right, you do play today, today though. Uh, my, my macro was completely off my timings. Uh, I usually get to my opponent's base by 6.30, and I was there at like 7.15 or something. So by the time he had way too many lanes. Just... Yeah. We liked your builds though. We, we uh, Mr. Uh, Gosu called your build every time, so he was on. Yeah, except uh, except for the 40. He would uh, just tell me I'm a piece of shit and stuff like that on stream. Uh, <laughs> just to just to mess with me before the game. Oh, like, oh, uh, Mr. Mr. Asian Fatality is telling us to notice the roaches that are coming, the nine roaches that are on their way with all the Zerglings. So this is a, he's calling this an all-in from the Zerg player, and the Zerg wants to get this over with. He's going to try to kill this Terran. Oh, he catches these Hellions off guard at the Zelda Tower. They cannot uh, move. I think that's GG. Wow. And they're gone. Nah, he he doesn't have, he like doesn't even have near enough. No. Uh, units to stop this. Yeah, this is bad. He's pulled the SCVs off. He has to have. Them. Yeah. The... Uh, he could just. Oh uh, no! There we go. Closes up those bunk. That supply depot. <laughs> yeah, he needs to just just get in there though. I don't think he realizes at what point Terran has nothing. Yeah, he doesn't know that Terran has absolutely zilch going on here. Uh, uh, he's... Yeah, I realized that in the last game. I was watching it on stream, uh, waiting for my uh, chance to get on. Yeah. Yeah, he, Taiji just um, hesitates too much when to engage. The Zerg is. And Taiji is uh, just content to pull back now. I hear something going on. Oh, I see a Viking's in the air. He just took out a uh, Overlord, and now he's coming down to the south of the map. He's going to try to... Oh, no, he doesn't. He turns around. <laughs> Look at those two SCVs that are caught between the engineering base. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's uh. terrible. Oh, he needs to blink. We need to research SCV blink so we can blink out of there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, this isn't Nexus Wars. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to blink. Okay, anyways... So. I do like uh, Soy Pop Tart's um, supply depot walls. Although it does get him a uh, supply blocked uh, in 10 situations. <laughs> so, anyways, so he, the should, he should like make uh, a few backup supply depots in his main. The Viking gets taken out by a queen. I was just scouting there. Mining yep. its own business. The Overseer gets into the main base of the Terran and it gets taken out. So let's see what the, the Zerg player has vision of here. The Zerg has seen everything. In fact, it's seeing everything because there's still a changeling with these Marines. So he's seen everything that the Terran has right now. The changeling is still here with these Marines. Oh, he's getting pain. That's kind of weird though, he's getting Banelings uh, when he sees his opponent has Marauders and Hellions. That's sort of a weird way to play. Alright, this Overload's gonna go down. It's gone. So he has Marauders, Marines, two Medivacs. He does not, he did not make Banshees this time. Mutas are in the base, uh oh, he has to bring his whole army back to defend off these Mutas. He cannot leave his base anymore. Mutas are gonna do a lot of harassment. Oh, he killed the SV that was making the command center. But he did see that he was making a command center, so that's good. Yep, he saw the command center. He knew that there was 400 minerals being spent there. So he definitely knows uh, Terran has the intention of expanding, uh, probably to the uh, nat where you naturally third expand. Yeah, the Terran has not scouted the third base. The third base, he cannot land. He, there is creep being spread. Creep being yeah. spread there. Uh, oh, and this, the swarm has come in. This swarm is going to take out everything that Terran owns in the middle of the, of the map. He needs to turn his Marines around. The Marines are, like, running back. Ah. Yeah. So. I wonder if he's actually going to go for it this time, <laughs> Taiji. He just might. He, I think he's. I think he needs to know that he's comfortable. He's doubled the supply now. <laughs> with a, He could just go with the, the, I mean, just the mutas right now. Oh. I, I don't know why he's pulling back, like, really. Yeah, he's just playing really ultra safe here. 
Um, th those mutas alone could probably do enough damage to create it to cause a GG if he just uh, micros them right. I'd like to say Baneling Buzz, because uh, how many supply um, Baneling hits can a supply depot take? I think it's like three, uh, four, I think. Four or five. Yeah. I do not actually know that answer. Uh, I'll so he could easily Baneling Buzz through this and destroy him. A fifth hatchery is now going down for uh, Taiji. Remember, he has a macro hatch in his main. He's on layer tech, he has a spire, he's making mutas. He's making everything, and they're all filing toward the Terran base, and Terran can't do anything about this. The Munas are in the air, just sni snipping here and there. Oh, taking down the destructible rocks. Very good for uh, Banelings and Lings. Mm -hmm. The Munas are on 0-1. The, uh, let's see what the uh, Zerglings are on here. The Roaches are on 1-0. So 1... Ooh. I'm sorry, go ahead. That's extremely dangerous he's pushing out right now. <laughs> I think it's... yeah, that's it. Alright, the Zerglings are on 1-1, uh, and the Banelings are on 1-1. One, one. Marines are on 1-1, one, one, and the Hellions are on 0-0. Zero, zero. So, I think the Terran knows where the uh, Zerg is, and he's just sitting back, waiting for the Zerg to come in. Those two SCVs are still stuck in there. They're really, really bored. <laughs> and you see, actually, one of the SCVs just following another SCV, not mining at all. Just oh no, know. he's it's on follow command. That's terrible. <laughs> oh. So he doesn't even see the uh, the warning that shows that one of your SCVs isn't doing anything. <laughs> in fact, Soy Poptar put those SCVs that are trapped on patrol, so they're in there just going back and forth, back and forth. You know, after after about three years, maybe you'll have enough of a trench made to like dig yourself out of there when you're walking that <laughs> much. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be a cool idea, like making trenches. Yeah. Like once once your units walk across the ground enough, like you start seeing like pads and a trench being dug. Not here, not on this map. See that's that's metal. You can't do that on metal, but like maybe on a, a different tile set, you know. Anyways, uh, back to the game. We have mutas. These are a lot, this is a lot, a, lot, a lot of mutas. Like I said, this is probably enough mutas to to cause a GG from say yeah. pop tart. Yeah, I really think it's GG. There's a lot of mutas. Uh, Plus, he's rushing. I don't even think there's an engagement that's gonna happen. Oh, oh. there we go. Engagement. Oh, the swarm. It's just annihilating everything. No matter how good his splits were. Oh my goodness, he just took out the command center with one huge baneling hit. Oh wow, an all-in could be dangerous. Oh no, you just get some banelings and that'll completely obliterate those SCVs. Did you say obliterate? Obliterate. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's Canadian saying random words. They <laughs> uh. yeah, are gonna see GG anytime soon. Alright, so the counter all in from Soy Pop Tart is on its way. It is in the, it's in the fifth hatchery base area of this uh, Zerg, and here come the Baileys taking out everything. Ouch. And GG well played. 